Hello, my name is Rosella and today I'm going to do chapter 8 in this book. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I publish many tutorials on music theory, piano, musical quizzes, discovery music theory, past exam papers, scales and musical terms to help you improve your knowledge and your playing. You can also visit my website where you can see all the videos that I publish, theorievirtuoso.com. Thank you for watching. Bye! In exercise one, we need to take the correct answer for the given questions. Which is the highest sounding instrument? Well, double bass is really big, so it can't be because it's really, really big. The bigger, the lower the sound. So the bigger the instrument, the lower the sound. Cello is a tiny bit smaller than the double bass. Viola is bigger than violin, so the violin is definitely the smallest, therefore it produces the highest sound. Which string instruments reads in the, in the alto clef? Well, it's viola. And the reason is because of the range of the compass, basically, the range of sounds that it can produce. To ensure that the notes played by the viola remains within the stave, we can change the clefs so the reading is easier. Therefore, um, cello and double bass read in um, bass clef because the sound is lower. We are happy to say that the vi viola plays in, uh, uh, reads in the alto clef. What is the Italian word for plucked, this kind of thing? And it's pizzicato, because pizzicato means this. This is pizzicato. So the, the gesture is like a, this, this kind of thing. <laughs> so pizzicato. Arco means that we use the archetto. The archetto is the bow. Sul G means sul sol, so on the string, uh, on the G string. Okay, that's the answer of our next question. What sul G uh, mean? Well, sul sol, that would be on the G string. So uh, here it is. We've excluded already these ones because one is arco and the other one is pizzicato. Uh, which is the sign for a down bow? And it's this one here, because it goes down. This goes up, phases up, so it goes up, that's the up. This is the up string, and then this is a, a slur, so that's the down string. And the Italian term for with mutes is con sordine. Uh, that's the Italian term. So senza means without. Okay, and con means with. And uh, this is the French equivalent of this, but the answer, the question says Italian terms. So this is the right answer. And we have finished our exercise one. Let's move on to exercise two. In exercise two, we are asked to take the correct answer again to the, to the given questions. Which woodwind instrument would use the bass clef? Well, in this case, it's again the biggest instrument. And then the flute is the smallest, so we can exclude this one. Clarinet and oboe are roughly, um, have roughly the same size. And the bassoon is definitely the biggest, so it sounds the lowest. Therefore, it uses the bass clef. And again, the choice of the clefs um, depends on the range of the instrument, the compass basically. And as I said before, to make sure that the notes remain as much as possible within the stave, we change the clefs. Which is the lowest sounding brass instrument? Well guys, again, the biggest. Now um, the horn and they are all really big, but the trumpet is the, the smallest. The horn, it follows the horn, trombone, and then tuba. The tuba is really the biggest. Honestly, if you have ever seen the tuba, it's like half the size of a man. So it's really big and, and heavy tuba. 
what does consord uh, mean? Now, consord is a small, is a, a shorter version of consordina, which means with mute. Slash means legato. With expression is con espressione or espressivo, and without mute is senza sordina or they say via sordina so uh, take your sordina take the mute out which woodwind instrument can play higher notes than the oboe okay um, in this case we need to compare yes the size and and the sound i think the oboe is very likely to be the flute because the clarinet is a tiny bit lower, so I would say flute. The trumpet is also very uh, similar to clarinet, the clarinet, and this is also a transposing instrument, so it's a tiny bit lower. And the bassoon is too big, and um, so no. It can't play like a flute, so it's definitely the flute. Okay, let's move on to exercise three. In exercise three, we need to circle true or false for each statement. The side drum produces notes of indefinite pitch. Now, indefinite pitch is a pitch that can't be written as a note. So it is not a musical note, but it's a noise. So for example, this. That's not a note, uh, a note. It can't be reproduced on the piano, for example, or on another instrument. Therefore, is a noise. And the side drum is definitely a noisy instrument. <laughs> so true. Symbols produce notes of definite pitch. And this is also incorrect because symbols, piatti, are just another noise making. So false. Timpani, the timpani cannot play definite pitches and this is incorrect because actually in the timpani around the the circle that you you would hit to produce the sounds um, you have a tuner so you can move it on mi, fa, mi flat, sol, re so all these uh, notes and you just turn it and then you produce uh, this would um, stretch more or less the material on the top and uh, make a note higher or lower if it's more stretched that will make it a higher note if it's more relaxed it will produce a lower note and so this is how the mechanism works But percussion instruments are played using a bow? No, because the bow is just for the strings. The percussion instruments would use the sticks or, or yarns or, yeah, sticks anyway. The clarinet uses the bass clef and then this is also incorrect because it uses the, it can use the alto clef like um, like the viola and in fact sometimes uh, the these two instruments share the same repertoire the flute is the highest member of the brass family and this is incorrect because the the highest is uh, piccolo ottavino piccolo the terms senza sordina or sans sordines uh, mean the same thing, yes, because senza is sans, so yes, true. The double bass can play more than one note simultaneously, uh, yes, yes, because um, the strings can be played, the bow can, st can st uh, stroke two strings at the same time, yes. The bassoon and the trombone both use the bass clef. And the answer is yes. There you go. Okay, there is a test your progress here and I will uh, post the pictures on Instagram very soon. 
So um, watch out for it. Follow me on Instagram and very soon on TikTok. You can find me on Facebook, Theory Virtuoso, and on my website, theorievirtuoso.com. I hope this was useful. Happy learning and see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching, sharing and liking my videos. Remember, tell your friends about it. If it was useful for you, it will be useful for other people too. Now, if you want to watch other tutorials on discovering music theory grade 4, click here now and enjoy learning. In the meantime, I'd like to thank all those who have messaged or emailed me and left a comment here. I'm glad that my videos were useful for you and let you feel more confident and strong when taking your exams. I'm here for this. Especially the ones who told me that thanks to my videos they got a distinction at their music theory exam and this makes me very happy. Thank you so much. The merit is all yours but thank you for letting me know. And of course, please do keep in touch. I love it. Thank you. Happy music. Bye.